guys today's video i want to talk about the biggest calisthenics mistakes the five biggest calisthenic mistakes you can make so if you're doing body weight training if you're planning on doing body weight training avoid these mistakes to have like to get the best possible results from calisthenics or body weight training. So let's start with number one. Number one mistake I see with calisthenics training is not having a routine. So basically not having a plan. So most guys, they just go into the gym. They want to do body weight training and they just do random shit. You know, they just do random exercises. They do a random amount of sets, a random amount of rest times, random amount of reps. And if you do random actions, it's going to produce random results. So you can't get the most efficient and the best results possible if you don't have a plan. You know, you have to have a plan. Just like with weight training, you just don't go into the gym and just pick the barbell up and do random exercises. No, you have a plan. I'm going to do deadlifts, then I'm going to do squats. And the same with calisthenics. You know, you're going to do push-ups, then you're going to do pull-ups, then you're going to do uh, chin-ups, then you're going to do body weight squats, then you're going to do jumping lunges, you know, then you're going to do clapping push-ups. You have to have a plan. That's the only way to get efficient and the best results possible. That's the only way and that's one of the biggest mistakes people make with doing calisthenics is not having a plan. You have to have a plan. That's the only way to get the most efficient results. Mistake number two with calisthenics is, is not training hard enough. So the mistake number two is not training hard enough. So despite that you're not using any weight, you still have to do an intense workout to produce muscle growth. You know, you like, you have to be in that rep range of eight to 12, even though you're doing calisthenics. So how do you do that? Because you don't have any weight, you have to change the exercises. So you could do harder variations of exercises, like with the push up, for example, the higher your legs are, the harder the exercise, you could do clapping push-ups, you could do uh, one-arm push-ups, you can do Spider-Man push-ups, you can do so many variations of each exercise because there's always a harder variation in calisthenics and that's going to keep the exercise intense, it's going to lower your reps because you have to, you, despite you're doing calisthenics, it's still resistance training, so you're still going to for, to produce muscle growth, you still have to be in that same rep range because you're not just doing 100 reps of push-ups because you're not doing 100 reps of bench press when you're going to the gym. So it's the same thing. It's still resistance training. It's just different exercises. You know, so you still have to be in that rep range. So you should change your variations. You should change up your exercises to make it harder, to make it more intense. You know, it's pretty simple as that. Mistake number three is not following a good split. Now, it's the same with the gym. When you go to the gym, you just don't do full body workouts all the time. No, you have a split. Either you do full body split, either you do an upper lower body split, or you do a three day split. It's the same with calisthenics. If you're doing an upper lower body split, then you just focus on the upper body on that day. A lot of people just, again, do random shit. They just pick a random split and no, you have to have a detailed plan with your exercises. You have to have a detailed plan with your reps, with your sets, with your split, rest times. You have to have all of those dialed in. And only then, only then are you going to see the proper results as you should, you know, and yeah, that's the way you should do it. Mistake number four is not resting. So people assume that because calisthenics are a lot easier, they can do them every day. Now that's true for a lot of people, but 
if you can do calisthenics every day, if you can do a full body calisthenics workout every day, then you're probably not training hard enough. Then you're probably not training as intense enough as you should. Because if you raise your intensity, you should work out the same if you're doing full body workouts you should work out monday wednesday friday and you should take a rest day in between because you're still doing resistance training calisthenics or weights your body doesn't tell the difference it is still resistance training guys so no matter no matter what you do it's a resistance training so your body still gonna get that same effect from calisthenics or weights if you equal the reps and the volume so if you equal the volume you still have to rest just like when you're doing weight training you know so yeah and the fifth mistake is not having a goal not having a specific goal with calisthenics it's the same as with the gym you know you to pick out a plan, to create a plan that's going to work, you have to set a goal. You know, you can't just say, I have no goal, I'm just going to go to the gym, I'm going to just do some random shit. Because when you have a goal, only then can you start making a detailed plan about the exercises and the sets and the rubs because you know what to do. If you don't have a goal, you don't know what to do. You know, so... It's all bullshit again. So you have to know what to do. If you want to build muscle, then you have to stay in that 8 to 12 rep range. You have to rest 90 seconds to 2 minutes. You have to do so many sets. You have to do these kinds of exercises. You have to focus on the mind-muscle connection. You have to do slower reps. And if you're doing training for conditioning, you're going to do a lot more reps. You're going to focus less on the muscle and focus more on the conditioning and, you know, the stamina. So it's all about different goals. So you have to set a goal. Then you have to make a detailed plan. And then it's going to be efficient. And then you're going to have the best results possible. So that was it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Definitely like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Peace out.